Jamie Moore, Jack Catterall's trainer, has, has joined us. I think your face says it all. How are you feeling? Just sum up how you're feeling, how Jack is feeling. We've been talking about it. Do, do you feel like he was... He was uh, it's difficult to put into words. I know how you feel. I mean, you, 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 you're talking about a kid who's worked all his life to, to, to wait for that moment, who, who stepped aside, who's waited three years for his opportunity. He stepped aside, done the right thing for boxing, stepped aside to allow a unified champion on the promise that he would get the opportunity. He gets the opportunity, he performs like that and beats the champion in his own backyard and gets absolutely robbed. So think about what the message that sends to people watching that. My son's 16 and just getting into boxing, he'll be looking at it thinking, why should I get into boxing? Because the moment you think you work all your life, you're going to get crowned a world champion after a performance like that, and it's snatched away from you. It's, it's disgusting. I don't even know what to say. Jack, you've asked Jack to come down here. As if Jack can come and speak, he's absolutely heartbroken. And that's totally understandable, Johnny. You, you can sympathise with, with what Jamie's there. Very emotional, obviously. I know. I'm, I'm an ex-fighter, and when these things happen, when you put your life and your heart and soul on it, you commit your life to this, you, you believe in the sport, you're in love with the sport, and things like this happen, you just think, why am I bothering doing this? Remember the casual fans that look, watch this at home, you're telling me, believe me, not your lying eyes. That what you, that's what you're telling me, because people saw what happened in there. You, and it, it's on such a big scale as well, I just I feel a bit embarrassed. And I'm, trying, I'm, not doing, I'm not doing this for, for, for myself. I'm doing it to try and help people fulfil their dreams, dreams what I could never achieve. And he's achieved it tonight, and, and he's been robbed from him. Let's just talk about some of the positives. So many positives from Jack's performance this evening. An amazing start from him. We always talk about you. Always talk about keeping a cool head in the hot kitchen, and then that is exactly what he did from start to finish. Box beautifully. Yeah, he did. And 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 everything what we spoke about. We try not to give too much away, but everything we spoke about what Taylor's good at, we try to use against him. You know, his pressure, his, his tempo, his work rate. That that when he's in your face, we we. we we set a game plan out to, to use his best assets against him, and it worked. It was still really difficult. We never thought in a million years it was going to be an easy fight. We knew it was going to be gruelling, tough, a bit scrappy in patches. But, I mean, listen, I just, all, all that's negligent now, though, isn't it? He actually, he actually nailed what we, we planned to do against one of the best fighters in the world, and he sat there heartbroken in the changing rooms with nothing to show for it.